Hey all this is Urson, welcome back to the Huge RTSL starring the Trung Sisters. We are continuing onward with this massive war with many, many moving parts, I would say, are probably the best way to describe this. Uh, but yes, we are in the thick of it with the Toltecs now, so it's time to uh, keep that process going. We don't commit too hard, we already liberated Toronto, we took Ilwaco, we're on the verge of taking Sacramento, and we're gonna take down Nima pretty shortly. I think it may be wise to go ahead and sell that to the Californians. I don't particularly care about that city very much. So, still in anarchy for a while. I don't really feel like, even looking at the number, there's no point. It will just make me angry and sad inside, so I won't. Uh, we can use, yeah, Sacramento's already down, so we can use this to attack Los Angeles a bit more, get Neokoshi down. The only danger of Neokoshi is there is an anti-aircraft gun there. So what we probably want to do is run one now you got interception three. Is my weakest guy, this guy. We're gonna run him as an air sweep real quick. Okay, looks like there's no resistance. We took no damage. To Niyakoshi, there's no air cover, so we should be fine to drop some bombs on Niyakoshi. Even though we see the anti-aircraft gun right there, we just ran a fighter through there, doing an air sweep. We're clear, so we have a city attack promotion on this unit, so we're fine. Let's keep trying to run through it as best we can. And get some damage down. What else we got? Uh, you're still healing, huh? Why are we in Nikotad? I don't really want you to be in Nikotad. I want you to move out so there's no weirdness. Weirdness is bad. Now, I do have to kind of not just press next here because there's a lot of things like out here I need to do, like kill all her cities. In Gray Mouth. Hi. That sounds like a medical condition. Uh, like Wuri Yalak. This is going to be, this is our first really world war. They were really composed to continents before. Now, we're properly having a fight pretty much across. No, we're not. God damn it, Seddon. I'm screwing up my attack routes. There we go. Really? Okay, good. I was going to say, if you screw up another attack route because you just happen to be there, I'm going to be very, very pissed. And we have no vision. Okay, that needs to change. Really? I have no vision with my... All right. Weird, but I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, I guess we have no vision. Okay. Now, I don't expect much defensive posturing here from her. She probably doesn't have much in these little crap cities right now. I need to find some way out though. Getting vision here is going to be really quite hard because he's literally surrounding all these tiles. That's really freaking frustrating. Okay. How many moves is this? This is three moves worth? Yes, I'm going to go two and two. So we have to use one of my missile cruisers to do this, mainly just because the Kiwis are exactly the distance we need not to be to be able to get this to be successfully attacked, but alright. That's really kind of frustrating about this whole particular setup. But we want to work on Miyapon then a little. So we have not much else to do without that. Hi, submarine. Hey, you can do something useful. Go blow up the submarine for me. So they just have a little bit of defense here, and I'm impressed. They did think forward, these AIs, that there may be some military issues. Because, you know, I have vision of Miyapon, but no apparent reason why. Though I didn't have vision there from enough distance. Sometimes vision is weird. I lock that down, and we'll beat up Miyapon a little bit. These are going to take a little while, and I expect her to keep buying up submarines and doing dumb stuff like that, and it's not really going to avail her of too much. Right now, the annoying thing is the Kiwi are in the way. All the Kiwi. All, all the Kiwi. Can we go right here? We don't owe more with a Kiwi? Seriously? Sadden. Bro. What do you want with New Zealand? I want your open borders, New Zealand. Yeah, well, why do I not have his open borders? Oh, all my open boards are I can't give him GPT? No, that's not true. Oh, he's probably going to want something, so let me just give him a copper. Cool. Yeah. If he didn't take that, then now he's plotting war against me. But if he takes a luxury for that, we know we're in pretty good shape. He'd be pretty stupid not to take that deal. All right, let's go. Onward, onward, good friends. Onward, onward. Cruiser. But you can't quite get there, so that was not the most useful move ever. But it'll be useful later, I'm hoping. Okay, and then the submarine can come up here just to keep an eye on whatever the hell's going on up there. Yep, and then this particular unit can go right about here. Mainly because all the other good firing spots are taken. Damn. Alright, so that started there. Now let's start in Africa. I don't foresee any problems on this side, so I'm not too worried about that. I do foresee issues here. So let's go foresee some more things, shall we? Namely, let's take some stuff down. And we have the aircraft to handle this. What is in here? Fighter and a bomber. We could run one quick air sweep. Just to see. 
Uh, we wouldn't have much on air defense in that case. There's only two stealth fighters. I mean, jet fighters here. Um, we could tr we can risk it. Just throw a bomber in there and see what happens. Because worst comes worst, take a little bit of damage. They're stealth bombers versus fighters. It's not like we're even at comparative techs at this point. For some reason, I can see the submarine. It's likely from the fact that I can scout with my other units. Good enough. Great person born. Another great admiral. Oh, handy. Hey, that's a good idea. Why don't you go to Kumasi? Rebase to Kumasi with a K. There we go. Yeah, that really should be alphabetical and not order of acquisition. That's kind of a bad decision in my mind, but all right, whatever. Submarine, let me know if there's anything out here I should fear. Oh, well, there's a AA gun out there, and there's a little Gatling gun trying to make landfall. That's going to be fun to deal with. But that, I don't see too much cover in the city, so we may be able to go balls deep here. Let's see, missile cruiser will give us air cover. So we could totally still do this, I think. Yeah. Let me just get some battleships out here. More ready. Get ready to move. We can get a missile cruiser to fire the city too, I think. This is all just effectively flat land. We can probably get one from right here. I mean, we're going to be able to do obscene amounts of damage to these guys, too, but this is a naval attack specialist, so let's go ahead and beat it in the city. Y'all deaf? Come on, shoot that thing. Thank you. All right, missile cruiser, come out. Come out wherever you are. No, that's too far. Put you right around here. One, two, three. No, it's going to have to be here. Yep, three range, three range. Three range, free range. If I take it all the way down and someone else takes it, that'll be interesting. Uh, <laughs> that'll be fascinating. Can we GDR this? Oh, that's one thing I may have missed. No, not really. I have, I have an XCOM trooper, so that's fine. Nope, didn't miss it. Just uh, was a little bit turned around there. Let's get ahead and get some air cover here. By running him with medic and also alert. So that gives us air cover right there via the alert. Let's keep an eye. Oh, there's GDR over here in Bonza Congo. Why are you all the way over here when the war is over there? Silly, silly GDR. Get to the front lines. Get there now. Go. Come on. All right, now we go west to check a look at a couple more things. Get the missile cruiser out here. This one's going to try to provide air cover for our fleet here. Gotta have at least one move remaining for that. We have our aircraft for that, of course. That's a no-brainer. And we'll probably be turning the battleships to work on the units on land once they get closer to our city. And we'll leave the missile cruisers to deal with ships and the city itself. And we'll have a couple submarines just patrolling out here, but it's unlikely we'll see much more coming. We're going to keep... Oh, we don't really care about the oil, honestly. We have so much extra oil that it's no worries. Let's get out here. Work this a little bit. And let's see how much damage we can do. So first of all, are these the, these the city attackers? Good. But we want the air cover. That's what we want most of all. Jet fighter, give me air cover. Uh, intercept. You're already on intercept, I think. Just make sure. Intercept. Yep. And jet fighter. Wake up. Intercept. Okay. Good. So, uh, let's go ahead and use our bombers. On Mampong. Strike, please. Thank you. Boop, boop, be doo. Yeah, I could probably have the need to get my x trooper there this turn. Looks like Mampong is going down very, very shortly. If not immediately next turn. We'll see if these privateers can get in there. Spain takes it, whatever. It's one less city for her. I don't particularly care, and that works for me. Effectively, I don't mind. All right, let's go ahead and get you. Pair dropped right there. You don't have cover, though, do you? Ooh, that could be interesting. Good luck. <laughs> Normally, I believe these guys with covers. So that's, that's kind of a... Oh, that's probably one I got from a city-state, actually. That's likely what happened. What is this? Jungle, Grassland Hill. We can fire over this if we need to. We can fire at Mampong from here, or we can fire at... What do we, what do we have? 1233. Or we can double dose this artillery down. That's not a bad thing. Cool. And we have double cover here, so again, I'm pretty confident my bazooka's being able to hold up to the city bombardment. No worries. Okay. Back to here. So we have XM Troopers already in the front line. Who are you? You, you already fired, so why don't we alert everyone here. Michelle's doing fine. Stealth Bomber. Oh, we have another one of these guys to beat the crap out of something. You send you against Nima if we feel like it. I mean, I might as well. Yeah, let's keep working on that a bit. 
I have two shots. Okay, let's do that again then. Works for me. Stealth Bomber. Okay, yeah, I guess we can... Oh, wait a minute. We can use these on Niyakoshi some more. As we know, that's clear. Go ahead and beat that crap out of that some a little bit stronger. It's a much stronger city, and taking that would be a much bigger blow to her. And we start pulling in the right side in a little bit. The east side needs to fade in. We want to really keep this front strong. What else do we have? Yeah, you already fired. Nuclear submarine already moved. Nuclear submarine already moved. So a lot of these are just things I didn't alert after the fact. GDR is doing fine right there. We'll be able to use you for Neokochi pretty soon. Barring some weirdness to the contrary. What about you? Yeah, y'all need to heal up so we can use you. Oh, you are not made to attack City, so I'm going to use you to attack Nima real quick. You got to finish this one up before we move these guys to the front. Yeah, okay, use you as well. The Nima's effectively done. Yep, Nima's done. We can rebase you already. Where to, though? Rebase you to Chinook. Just get a little closer. That's fine. They heal every turn anyway. Thank God for air repair. Now right, what's up? Heal. GBG is a cheat ended. Yeah, I know. No shit. There's a war going on. Uh, heal. You can alert. And we'll see you on the other side. All right, and we are back. Looks like they focused on the submarines over here in Africa. Let's start the African theater first. Go ahead and beat up Mampong some more. Beat up their land units, and we'll have this more or less down. Paratrooper's gonna die very shortly. Ooh, durable little guy. Plains Hill. Oh, we can't actually get him easily. Poop on you. All right, that's all right. We'll do it. We'll get him, though. Oh, yeah, Battleship can do it. We can go right over these hills. It doesn't matter. Hello. Thank you. Now, uh, important thing. Mampong needs to go down, so let's do that real quick. And these air defense units, they also need to go down pretty hard. This is getting a little obnoxious. But anyway, we're going to focus... With this naval attackers on the city, we'll focus the land attack with our battleships because that's what the kind of what they're made for. Let's go ahead and get Mampong out. I'm gonna liberate this to the Toltec. Toltec. The uh who's your mutsits? The I can't even think of this. Whatever. We're gonna liberate it. There we go. And I'll think about the name of the <laughs> the civilization shortly. What is it? Talk to me. Ashanti! There we go. Okay, my brain is sorta of working. Not really, though. It has it has issues. So now we're going to have to go after Texcoco somehow. We have open borders with the Ashanti, so we should be able to see it pretty well. And combined with a couple GDR works inland here, we should be all right. Let's go ahead and get our units, our stealth bomber. Yeah, these are a little dangerous. Can we clearly quickly deal with this? I would love to quickly deal with this. Thank you. I need this not to exist anymore. GDRs are good at making things not exist anymore. Blow you up. Yup. Perfect, and move forward. Uh, let's loop around. Yeah, our ships are gonna loop around, clear the way. Anything I need to worry about? Not really. We're not at war with Congo. I just wanna make sure. At war with Bavaria and Russia. All right. Yeah, so the Congo are holding that little island fort pretty well. I, I'm, I'm equal parts impressed and pissed off that no one's killed her yet. But all right, you know what? You gotta give her props. She's still alive, and that's that's saying something. Not much of something, but something. All right. Bazooka, you're going to have to go support our GDR just a bit in that front line. The Spanish are now safe from Toltec depredations. Taking Texcoco, uh, I may keep it or just burn it, or I'll just sell it to somebody. I'll sell it to, like, I don't know, someone I don't really care about, like the Morians. I'll sell it to the Moria or something. <laughs> just so she doesn't have it anymore. That's really the only point. I just want the Toltecs to have a landfall. Oh, I mean, a foothold, not a landfall. We've already made landfall. <laughs> they don't have a foothold here. On Africa, we want to be pretty much convinced that this set of our gains is not going to be a problem. Not going to be able to pump up units or ships or anything out of there, so that's good. It's inland anyway, but you know, I digress. We're going to have to be watching the oceans going east here, though, and that's going to be part of this fleet's job. We're going to jump back over to Kentayo and start to do work that way. Hong Kong may go. Eh, we'll see. We'll need to support that after we handle Africa effectively. We'll have to go west to North America and South America, to Central America, go that way and kind of get that cleaned up so we don't lose our city-state allies and we don't have to. Can we go here and actually provide air cover? We can, yeah. So go here, provide air cover. Yep, and one of these units, unfortunately, is going to have to sit here and cover the Admiral because he's a little far off, but that's all right. Perfect. Good. We got a new GDR. Awesome. Actually, it's pretty freaking perfect. 
Where are you? You're a rough guy. We're gonna make you an open boy. Where are you? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's get you right by Kanongo. I'm kind of pissed that the uh, Spanish killed all those Ashanti cities, but alright, whatever. Can't think about it right now. Can't complain. So what happened here? Anti-aircraft gun, if you can eliminate. Battleship is pretty much done here. Get plus one visibility. We don't need that. Supply is not bad, but let's just focus on making the offensive capability better. Told you she'd bring units, and most of them are anti-air units, so that's fun. So we need to basically pick off the anti-air units while handling the rest. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume... Actually, she really circled near Okochi, it's crazy. Take a wild guess and assume most of these are not on alert, but that's a, usually a pretty bad assumption. Yeah, we can just maul most of these with our GDRs. Where's our March GDRs? That's what I need primarily. Speak of the devil. Repair. That works for me. What are you? You're a blitz marcher. This is going to be very important for you to do. Okay, we can wreck you. Son of a bitch. Really? Really? Nine health? Because why? Because you couldn't be bothered to, you know, do things? All right, whatever. Good kill. We can probably take Neokochi after this if we have enough attacks. Which is questionable at this point. I just need less freaking air attackers. The anti-air guns are really, really annoying. So that will prevent me from really leveraging most of my artillery here. Though I think I can still take Neokochi down with just my artillery. And then we could leave everything else for cleanup. Be a little careful, obviously. I want to get stuck out or caught out in some way. And Neokochi's down that way. Who has two attacks? I need... I need to be able to kill something quick to get another unit in. Uh, you... Oh, sorry, the road is broken here. Crap balls. All right, whatever. Get you out there. We need to kill... We need to kill one thing, basically, and then be able to vacate that space, which we can do with our GDRs. We can kill this, vacate the space, so we can actually move into the city, even though we don't have another attack. Pretty much perfect. So get out there, and then we can use this GDR with repair to grab Neokochi, and then we can kind of go ham on everything. Okay, that's gonna be the plan then. And then we'll see how many more aircraft guns. There's so many aircraft guns, oh, holy shit. Go take Neokochi, that's important. Come on. We're gonna create a puppet. Gonna return. So that, that basically strong point is gone. I don't wanna leave this guy in here for obvious reasons. I don't want the city to get captured, that would be awful. We have artillery logistics. We can help this out a bit. Let's see. I mean, this is going to be a bit of a problem, too, but there's only one AA gun here. We can eliminate this AA gun. We can use our aircraft to handle the rest of Los Angeles. So we'll do the little battle Los Angeles thing here and wreck this. Perfect. And you have Blitz, actually, too, so you can break something else if we feel like it. Can we break? Just anything that's going to be dangerous to our artillery at this point, I think. Yeah, that's probably going to be the pri uh, priority. You already attacked twice, I think. Yeah, you did. So we can't do much with you. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll worry about that front in a second. You are still trying to get over there, aren't you? Yeah, you are. All right, buddy. Just freaking get in the water because you're embarrassing me. This is why you can't just tell people to go places. They'll just, as soon as something blocks the way, you're like, I can't do that anymore. And then you just feel like an idiot. All right, let's take Nemo real quick. This can't take that much longer, right? Nemo should be one-shotted. I'm going to confirm that with just one quick short, sharp shock to the back of the head here. Shoot Nemo once. Nemo see Nemo, Nemo again. No, that's not a good idea for a Bond title. Go to Chinook. And we'll get this one, Stealth Bomber, to break Nemo down right there. Yay! It's done. All right, annoying background city, done. I really don't want this city. Let's create a pub and sell it to the Californians. So Nima, California, enjoy. Enjoy Nima this time of year. Do you have any more money to give me? I do appreciate getting money from these. I don't really want the city. It costs me happiness and it bothers me. It offends my existence. Hey man, do you feel like giving me stuff? Yeah, I got 95 gold, which I'm not going to see any of. I mean, sorry, 45 GBT I'm not going to see any of. Let me just show what the offer you're going to give me is. Nima. Last city I just acquired. What do you want for that? 36 and 24 GBT. Yeah, what the hell. Enjoy. 
Enjoy your new city. Your empire is increasing under my cultural guidance. Very good, California. Very good. I appreciate you greatly. Goodbye. Okay, good work. What do we have? What do we have? We have this guy with double cover. Perfect. So Sacramento is the next big acquisition. As long as we can keep this under control out here, we're in good shape. You can still attack one thing, like I said. Yeah. Taking these down with aircraft is going to be a pain, though, just because they're made to stop aircraft. I need to prevent her from being able to take cities. But all these are melee units, basically, so... You need to get away from this citadel, by the way. Just, just now that I'm thinking about it, you probably don't want to be there by that citadel. That would be unfortunate. Let's go bean you in the head once. Yeah, let's go bean the machine gun in the head once, even though it's going to slow down Los Angeles. We have a lot more aircraft to deal with Los Angeles. Kill the machine gun, get away from the citadel. Okay, I was about to say, if that did not line up, I would have been very, very angry with myself. Okay, and you, we can't really get to the point. Oh, we might be able to get to the point to hurt this thing. If we get this guy out of Neokochi to be safe, might be able to use a GDR to kill this anti-air gun. They're only dealing with effectively one, and this Citadel is going to do damage to them now because we own it. No, we can't do that. Okay. Well, we can kill this and scare them a little bit here. We could probably get here and pillage this, I think. It's going to be two moves to pillage. I don't want to take damage if necessary. Uh, but I'm next to another one. Ah, it's not great. And I'm going to be stuck here, aren't I? I'm going to take that 30 damage no matter what. And that's... Ooh, that's shitty. That's kind of shitty. So if I'm going to take the 30 damage, let me put it at least here. Ugh. Okay, that was, that was stupid of me. Did not consider that. There's two in a row. These, these Citadel bombs are ridiculous here. So many Citadels, so little time. Okay, so aircraft aside, we have an artillery we can use to beat up Los Angeles or beat up a machine gun. I say we do it on Los Angeles for now. Good enough. All right, let's take the naval attack now. So this seems to be the easier one of the two by far. We can, uh, that's, that's a land unit. I'd rather use this for what it's supposed to be used for. Uh, okay, let's start taking shots before I get frustrated here. Let's go pop, pop. Okay, done, done. You can move you away now. Good, very good. All right, so your job is done. Scoot out one tile. You can now beat up the anti-air gun. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we did good work there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take Sacramento with this XCOM trooper, since we can. Perfect, let's go puppet the city. Yes, puppet it. All right, good. So we have the old capital of California, which is perfect. So Chinook and California are now in our hands. Very nice. In case we decide to go into domination. But again, I'm hoping that's not going to be necessary. It's going to bring the XCOM trooper to hold this line down. There's no easy way to Sacramento along her railroads. and have a quick way in. GDR, go ahead across the uh, river here. And I want to see if there's stuff coming into San Francisco or not. Does not appear to be the case. So this should be relatively simple. Once these two forces link up, we'll be able to push her back pretty hard. All right, so next move, we've moved down to Tulancingo, start taking cities one by one. It doesn't look like there's any naval force that can really hold a candle to us right now. So we're pretty much got ocean dominance, no matter where we look. So we're clear here, clear there, good. Now, I do want to kill everything in the water, because I can potentially get vision on my submarines. So it's not like they're dangerous in particular, but if they start seeing me, they could prove a problem. Where are our battleships? You still can move and fire, can't you? That'd be great if you could take a swing at Tulancingo, but you can't. I think you're one tile away. Yep. One tile away. All right, let's go. Move forward. Two moves. Perfect. And where are we going? This way. Boobity poop. Yeah, let's just get it in range. There's no sense keeping them back. I'm thinking, like, is it dangerous if I put them up there? But nah, it's not. I have, like I said, overwhelming naval strength, so we should be okay. Keep a bit of these for air cover, but beyond that, we should be able to just kind of keep a perimeter and just work our way down the coast pretty aggressively. Yep, no, we should be fine here. I think we can actually start using some of our missile cruisers to provide air cover and some to actually attack. And that'll be ideal. Split the roll a little bit that way. 
Sweet, perfectly. Now we have massive, massive force concentration here. We're gonna have to leave a couple units here on defense. Obviously, there's still Chapultepec and Motul and stuff like that that we need to deal with. But yeah, big, big world war means we need to be covering a lot of geographies. Let's get down here and cover this, and that should be fine for down here. Let's move some missile cruisers up. Because y'all have really good range and movement, so I can use some of them to attack tool and single already, start taking damage there and putting damage down on there while we use the guys who can't quite reach or don't have a good position for air cover, and that'll be pretty ideal. Yeah, y'all need to keep air cover here. My battleships are precious to me right now. Can't afford to lose any. And our aircraft are going to be constantly helping out with this, obviously, as we start weaving our way down the coast. But for now, I want to keep, I want to keep my flexibility up. That's the most important thing. Now let's keep that locked down and keep moving. XCOM crew, you are fully healed. Good, 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 good. So we're going to need this a bit to kind of bolster our position. Yeah, I just need some way to push through all this crap. There's just a lot of it. Yeah, I mean, it's good that we have these guys up front here, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I need to use my aircraft to handle the air, anti-aircraft guns, which is just horrible. All right, what we got? Uh, those are city attackers. Not exactly made for this. Where are my ground attackers at? Some of you guys. Nope, not you guys. You guys here, apparently. Hey, talking. To, no. Just the ones that are up here only. Are these the only ground attackers I have? Nah, here we go. This one may sting a bit. I may need to quickly run a sweep just to be safe. Again, I'm probably my weakest interceptor. That guy, yeah. Run a sweep. Uh, if these guys are on alert, I'll be covered here. Okay, no damage. So these, these guys are not on alert right now. It's going to give me a good opportunity to try to knock this crap down. Fighters are here, but again, they don't seem to be on alert because we didn't trigger a sweep. So, all right, well, let's go see if we can drop them here. This is going to hurt because, obviously, you know, these things are made to combat air units. But it's just going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Yeah, look at this. No, we're going to be even here. I can't drop these guys. Problems abound. They're going to be able to retake Neokochi. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'd rather not beat the crap out of my aircraft if I don't have to. I can just work on this guy, though. We know that there's no... There's no cover here, so it'll be pretty much game over. He's got a lot of defense. God damn. Now, what else do we have? The so bomber. You have some ability to attack these things. So we'll probably work on Los Angeles with the other guy. Good. Get another damage here. No, different calculation. Tell me. Wow, he's still standing. Wow. Okay. Tough unit. Understood. All right. Let's see, uh, stealth bomber, bottom one, good, one of you guys, kill this thing, for God's sake, thank you. We can minimize the number of things I guess I can have around the city, that'd probably be good. Yeah, no enemy anti-air units, but no those anti-air units are on defense, so if we can just focus, uh, these are 50 strength. They could run their faces into the city a lot and kind of do what I need to worry about here. We can handle that guy and maybe handle the other paratrooper and kind of use this to wipe out the land military while I deal with everything else. Should be okay. We shouldn't drop that GDR there. It'll be all right. Luckily, I'm to the point where I've kind of diversified my ability with my stealth bombers. So these guys will have to deal with the GDRs. If they retake Neokoji, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. We can take that bit of a loss and, and just move back. Not move back, as in just take it back and then move on and maul the anti-air guns that we have. This is our first major push, so obviously this is going to be the nastiest of the bunch. After that, it's going to get a little easier. The bombers already did work there. Soldiers did work here already. Yep, okay. That's all of them, I think. Except for the guys here. Now we got a few. Oh, we still got a few. Yay. Oh, glorious day. Let's go ahead and beat some stuff up. Give the experience rolling. The less I have to fight with here, the better. Can kill the cavalry in one go. Beautiful. That's relatively simple. Yeah, we just keep numbers down, I think we'll be fine. It's just, yeah, it's that initial push always. And they always, the AI loves, loves, loves to spam anti-air units. It's really, really quite obnoxious, so. Oh, we do a lot of damage there, good. And can we kill him in another go? Ah, oh, almost, really, really, really now? Come on. One more up here. Can you do a strike at least on this guy, or are you out of range? Oh, just in range, perfect. Dude it, and we'll move you to Chinook for now. Okay, that... Oh, that was your last attack. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's all right. 
No worries. So we're going to parachute some of these guys back from the north. Now we don't need to worry about Toltec control of the north. Kind of put you... Obviously in friendly territory. We don't want anything weird to happen. I think we can put you kind of here. Ah, what we can do... We can go ahead and drop and pillage these citadels you are giving me a headache. So that's not a bad idea. Pillage that. Then alert. Perfect, good job. Alright, brave paratroopers, you're next. I mean, XCOM troopers. Sort of paratroopers. With cover two and a lot of defense, it should be relatively simple. I just want to make sure these citadels are no longer a factor. This dude may take a bit of a pounding. He's going to be right between... Well, we can move him back to Neokochi. So yeah. I'm going to pillage for no movement. You're going to land, right, buddy? The animation is not that complicated. It's really not that wild. I want him in the range of two city bombardments. That's just going to get him killed. One city bombardment he can handle with double cover. And this, oh, we're going to, ah, no, we have another active citadel. Son of a bitch. I just keep forgetting how many damn things are there. Ah, whatever. It's not the most critical technical and tactical blender. So go here, watch this. And, yeah, we got to be a little careful with how we push through here. I don't want to get blown up by San Francisco. This will have to wait. And now we're over here. So back to reality, we have to deal with this crab. Now that the Kiwis have kindly let me in, go ahead and beat, beat up one at a time. We were doing that because we couldn't get at all the cities at once, but now we can. Let's get a Worry Yalok. Let's get Worry Yalok down as quickly as possible by beating it up with missile cruisers. There's no aircraft to play with here, so we should be pretty well in hand. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to focus here. Focus on the northern city. Beat it up. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Surround it from the other side, too. Though we could just enjoy blowing up the cavalry just for shits and giggles, which is not a bad idea. Do that. Shoot it. Thank you. And this rifleman is still <laughs> in the way. So the Kiwis haven't completely given up on screwing me around, but they're doing it a little bit. Now right, we can hit my op on a little bit more. Why not? Why the hell not? And again, there's no threat from submarines pretty much anywhere. We're clear. Yeah, we're pretty much clear, so... I'm gonna just flex around here just a little bit to see if there's anything incoming. One, two, three, but we should be fine. Alright, good. That's going swimmingly. Let me put another submarine in here just to be a wee bit safer. No issues, and we'll keep one on back up here. That works fine. Alright, what other front are we looking at here? You guys still need to heal. Heal up, for God's sake. And what is this? Rocket artillery. Ah, yes, we have another one. Good, good. I can actually use you. To blow something up for me, like maybe some of these annoying anti-aircraft guns. We get you into rail. I mean, this puts them in range of the city potentially, which is a little scary. I'm not gonna lie, but it does weaken this. And if I can hold on to the city somehow, that'd be slick. If we lose an artillery, not the end of the world. Also, we can kind of get it back. I wish I could use you to attack something else. You'd be able to do absolute wreckage. That's why Blitz is good. But all right, nuclear sub. Yes, keep keep a watch out here. You never know when they can try to sneak in, like, three submarines or a horde of privateers and really make your day bad. Chapultepec and Motul, they're not big cities, but they are coastal, so they could quickly rush by a navy out of here. Aha! Anti-air gun. So this is kind of the sort of stuff I'm going to be looking out for here. Trying to reinforce places, you might be moving units in. So you got to keep dropping all these things, dropping your naval and military power, making her willingness to fight a lot lower. That's going to be key here. Yeah, we're doing all right there. And she put AA guns everywhere because, I mean, it's smart. She does know I have a strong air force, I guess, but annoying. Absolutely true, too. We can put the general here. They give bonuses to almost everyone. The only concern I have here is that if this guy gets killed, I shouldn't get killed, though. There's no way GDR is going to get killed. Put the general right here to give the bonus to maximum units here. Lock that down. Go to sleep for now. Destroyer is fine. Alert. I'd probably use you to heal up for a sec. Let's do that before you're tasked with taking another city down. Okay, Pumpkin? Because you're going to be needed for Tulansingo. That may be tough to take Tulansingo. We might do it with XCOM troopers and just burn San Juan, I suppose. I'll figure something out. Got to be limiting the number of cities I'm taking, obviously. You can heal up. We have an extra worker. Okay, good. So we can start building railroads to all these unique cities so we can move units faster. Key among these is getting this road fixed. Is that what's going on? Yeah. That needs to get fixed yesterday. Get you working on that. For you. Another random worker we got. Oh, for Toronto. 
All right, that works. We're just going to start using you to fill in key rail connections so we can quickly move units across if something gets weird. That's fine by me. See, we don't need to build more workers. We just gain them when we take cities. You're fine there. Yep. No Toltec units to be seen. You have nothing to attack yet, so hold the phone for a turn. Oh, no, wait a minute. You don't have air repair. I just pressed the uh, go to sleep button. No, you need to heal. Then we can do the rest. Heal, heal, heal. All right. I'll see you all on the other side then. Oh goody, look, another great scientist. How useful. Marvelous. Anyway, what do we have? A couple promotions to be had. We got you with a promotion. Plus one, oh, plus one range would be good. And then the mobility. That'd still be good. Oh look, they brought more things for me to kill than until I was saying. This I was hoping. So they start putting, concentrating forces near the coast here. So I just beat the crap out of all of that. As expected, Neokochi got taken. We didn't lose any units though, it would seem, so... I, like I said, not a tragedy here. We didn't even really take damage. Oh, because it was our territory still before we had the Citadel. So we didn't take damage from that. Good. And now most of her AA guns are down because, well, that was the most annoying thing. And she decided to use those to attack me, which was kind of what my hope was going to be. So, yay. All in all, good. We didn't. We lost Neokochi, but we didn't really because we're about to get it back. Because artillery versus... Yeah. Yeah. See that? That's why we're going to get it back. So, about that. Uh, who can we use to kill this? You're pretty close to March. And then Blitz, let's do that. GDRs, have fun. We're gonna create a pupit again, thank you. And we have a couple units to kill. The worker, I don't particularly give a shit about. The anti-air guns need to go though, that is not acceptable. That cannot be allowed to live and breathe in my universe. So we're gonna try to, what is this? It's a bomber. We're gonna check that with an air sweep real quick. Again, same guy. He's like, why did you not specialize me in air sweeping? It's really not that necessary. No damage, because the AI sucks at keeping stuff on defense. But the minute you don't check for defense, the AI will have the unit on defense. Just fair warning. It's going to inevitably happen. 54 and another kill. Gives us... What? Give us bullshit is what just gave us. Come on now. Come on now, friend. You know it's not right. Shoot you in face with XCOM Trooper. Alright, Atlanta's there. So is New Orleans. This is going to hurt a little bit. But more importantly, I need to get rid of this, this crap, this abomination that is anti-air... Yeah, I figured that was going to happen too. It bothers me fundamentally. Yeah, you got Blitz, Gratz. Okay. So now, we need more things to break Los Angeles down, but Neokochi is ours again. Solid. Alright. Let's go ahead and drop this guy with this guy. Because GDRs can handle city bombardment. If and nothing else, they can handle it. So we can quickly probably take... Can we take Atlanta? Oh, look at the Antebell Manors. Oh, check it out! So pretty. All right. I like that model. Unique improvements, baby. All right. Can we get you into Atlanta? What's going to take you to get into these pair of pants? Uh, yeah, we can take Atlanta. So let's go ahead and do that. Even though it's not a major priority compared to the other cities as far as size, I want to, like I said, keep narrowing the front. So I don't have to worry about it so much. You cath limit, hit that quick and just sweep that way. We can concentrate forces in Los Angeles just fine without uh, all the units being there. So go up, and yeah, we can circle around now here, because there's no way they're going to be able to retake Neokochi. There's no units there to do it with, so go here. And we're going to focus fire Los Angeles down like whoa. This GDR, you need to pillage, and they need to GTFO. Just do that, because you can heal up in my own territory better than you can on foreign territory. Los Angeles, good. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. <laughs> You're going to see a lot of patterns here, Pilgrim. Four shot. Very good. This is what is a bomber. Yeah, so again, not a problem. Bombers don't really do much damage compared to the units I'm fielding right now. So no worries. The most fun here is going to be this, though. I'm going to enjoy taking apart every single one of these units. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be grand. And I'm going to love every minute of it. Let's put you right there. Is have two shot. Well, you don't have logistics, do you? That's really kind of stupid. You don't have logistics. Why? Because you're a slacker battleship. That's why. You're bad and you should feel bad. Let's go shoot him. Yes, once. Twice. Three times a dead anti-aircraft gun. Not quite how the song goes, but you know the sentiment. Yes. Even Shen knows the sentiment. Let's go shoot things. That guy. Repeatedly. In the face. In the face. 
Good, move you out. You, other new friend. Oh, you got another promotion. Well, double naval for you then, I suppose. Now this puts them in range of the battleship and the artillery. No big deal, we can handle a shot, or round of shots at least. Oh my god, totally, let's buy some shots. It's good, all right. Now, let's keep looking for any naval concerns, but kind of, I'm thinking her navy collapsed a while ago. Or she's floating more units over. Either way, I'm getting experience in my submarine, so I don't care. But she's moving stuff to north, but as you can clearly tell, she is still outmatched technologically. So she may have a bigger military than we do, but it's not by much anymore after the amount of abuse we landed to it. And it's a bit outdated comparatively. So it looks like we're pretty solid here. Our submarine net is spreading, but there's nothing about to beat through it. Okay, solid. Y'all just alert here. No need to worry. All right, let's go back to promotions because I forgot about that. Hi, you have march already. You have blitz. Give you movement or I can give you charge. Let's give you movement to keep this flexible. You got triple wolf pack. I love it. Very nice. Is there anything else for you to wolf pack around here? Or are we good? Looks like just Kiwi ships. And there's a submarine coming out of there, so I'm going to keep an eye on his ass. Stay right there, submarine. You're doing good. What are the promotion do I have to give out? Now let me know promotions. My favorite part of my job. All right, do that. Good. Go here and go ahead and go to my own territory and heal up. How about that? Oh, what else? Worker. You did trading posts. Good. You're going to notice a pattern with what I ask you to do. Go here and keep doing that whole trading post thing. Switch that out for trading post. Nice warrior there, Masai. Somehow you're not dead. I'm amazed. You are fully healed now, so I guess you can stay there. Congrats. <laughs> okay, so now we can leverage some stealth bombers against this. Huh, yeah, this is going to be another another long honker of a turn. Let's see, we can start working on Tulancingo, but I don't have enough vision to know if there's any aircraft there. We can start working on Los Angeles more, because chances are this is clear. Let's get a city tagger to check that out. Yes, yeah, get you. You're fully healed, so if you get any damage, we'll know. Nope. A gun is not on defense, so who gives a shit about the A guns at that point? Like, honestly. If the A gun's not on defense, it's their damn fault. Can we actually take. Oh, we can take LA if we drop this machine gun with this. Oh, yeah, we can take LA. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna take LA this turn. Do that real quick before the episode ends. Before I run out of time and patience. No, more like time. Go here, do it. Hit the LA. And you do the same. LA. LA. Good. Okay, we'll do a couple more bits of damage here. Where's a city focused one? Do I not have any more city focused ones? Really? Son of a gun. No, really? Even up here. I should have at least one up here, I think. There we go. Yep. Found him. Beautiful. All right. Good work. So you hang out here for now. Can't really put any of these guys forward because I'm afraid of losing them. Let's go shoot the machine gun. Yep. Once. And shoot twice. Yep. Good. Get that experience. Get your power even higher than it was. Let's get you right here. There we go. Use you to beat that up. Machine guns are pretty tough. They are tanky units. This is one of our more advanced units. That and infantry. Really? 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 The whole one hit point survival thing. Not a good look. Not a good look. Alright, die. So LA is down to nil, which means we can take it with this particular fellow. This old chappy. Do that. We're gonna create a puppet. And obviously there's a lot of units here. It may get retaken, but XCOM troopers are relatively easily replaced, so I'm not too worried. They do have an artillery right in range, which we need to eliminate. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of ground attacking here to get that gone. Fortunately, we have a lot of experienced units for that. Hi. No anti-air? No anti-air. Yeah, she's really bad with the anti-air. <laughs> The only unit that can possibly take this is the AA gun, and there's nothing I can really do about that, I'm afraid. Yeah, they always love sticking them right next to the cities, and I just kind of sit there kind of going, well, that's the end of that one. Go right there, alert there, and I think we're going to have to wait and leave this for next time as we continue to push into the Toltec territory. We're going to push east, concatenate, and bring the uh, fronts forward and kind of push west. Which is a lot of little island crap here, which is hilarious. Alright, so until next time, I've been Nurse, this has been Huger TSL. 
with the Trung sisters as the world war against the Toltecs in a real world war this time has started. Let's see if we can't kick him in the teeth harder and harder, baby. Until that time, I've been nursed. Till then.